what is up everybody mix it up monday is officially live we have isaiah pacheco josh allen and stefan gilmore in the game gilmore is a wide receiver josh allen as looking like potentially the best lurk artist user whatever you want to call it and then isaiah pacheco also looking pretty good he's just a little short so depending on what abilities he has but 94 speed and amazing coverage stats this card could be absolutely disgusting i think they are going for a pretty good penny at this moment. Um, yeah, Pacheco, the only one up for 3.88 million. Um, I did take a look at the store. The offers themselves, you can't pull too many. I think there's five packs and then there's like one special offer. Assume that you can also pull them in regular packs, but you can see Josh Allen up for a million. And then I think Gilly is pretty similar here. Um, we're gonna open up the packs. We're also going to take a look at that special offer. We might do the special offers first, see if we can save some coins. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the store. So taking a look at the store here, you can see there is a special offer of uh, 1,250. Weird, weird number. Um, it's like they, they want to make it just difficult enough that you can't buy it with one purchase there. But um, you can use three mix-up player packs, each containing one 88 plus mix-up player. I believe the odds are absolutely terrible. We only have a 3% chance at pulling one of those champions, but we're going to go ahead and get into it. If you guys want to see more content like this, especially with Zero Choke coming, it'd mean the world if you hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below if you're excited to see out of position players or not. Personally, I am. Um, I, I think it makes makes for a fun game. Um, I don't think it ruins it too much. Um, I, I don't mind it at all. So let's take a look here. We're going to open up these. I'm not too sure if there's a special animation for the the mix it up and we're gonna save it for last um so i've been seeing that one so we get an 88 josh allen right off the bat with there being 88s though it does make me think that there is a potential that there could be sets um i don't know for sure that one's different we got a full one let's go 93 josh allen just oh let's go oh man that is huge we get a big pull right off the bat he's selling for nine hundred thousand. i don't know if i want to sell him right away though because there's only limited packs you know you only get five packs so i don't know it might be worth holding on to him a little bit that is huge though right off the bat we get a full one that's what you love so there is a different animation and that is a smaller animation we get an 88 josh allen but that is massive we get one of the new ones right off the bat i might have preferred to get gilmore just because i want to throw gilmore on the cold steam team but that is huge and we get another small one there josh allen is the only one we seem to pull we're just going to open up one more of these with coins this will be a little bit of a smaller video but i just want to at least rip these take a look at this promo we get another small one we do get gilmore so at least we see a different card um and then i just saved a couple of packs i mean literally when i say a couple just a couple um so we're going to open up those as well it's just like a touchdown pack and a like a midfield pack, something like that. Nothing too crazy. Oh man, if that could have been Pacheco, that would have been huge, 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 huge. Um, so I know people were wondering if we we're gonna get an odds boost, things like that. I'll take a look at the store as well and just see. Um, I haven't heard that we did, but I'll take a look at that training, that mystery pack, and see if that changed at all. Um, you know, because if so, then obviously that means there was an odds boost. Personally, I don't think there will be until at least Thursday. So nothing great there. Um, some cards for potentially Team Diamonds. But let me know, did you guys take advantage of that? Man, for the first time in a long, long time, potentially all year, I actually had a super fun time opening up packs that that Friday night. I mean, like just doing like the Max, or yeah, the Max Fantasy packs. I mean, you could be flipping stuff into sets, into... I mean, if you pulled, what well, I pulled Drew Tranquil like a couple of times and each one sold for like 180, 190,000 coins, absolutely madness. That was fun. That was fun. Um, for the first time in a long, like I said, in a long time, we were able to just open up packs without the fear of completely losing your ass. Um, I lied. We're going to do one more, take us down to right above a mil, and let's see if we can get lucky one more time time come on save it for the last show us that cool animation it is not so we get another josh allen let's go take a look see if the sets are up though i don't know if they are they weren't when i first looked you can see there's like a placeholder for it 
but at the time when I was starting to record, it is not up. Yeah, but you can see right between these two, there is Monday mix up. So it makes me think that there will eventually be sets potentially, but maybe just not yet. Let's see if Josh Allen is tanking in price. Again, I don't want to miss out on, but he's, he, I think he's going to fluctuate a little bit. And as people rip their five or, you know, potentially the eight, if they did the offer, I think his price is only going to go up. I mean, if I remember right from like the weekly wild card, which is kind of what this is reminding me of a little bit with these just five limited packs, those cards would immediately increase price once kind of the next day or something like that, because everyone sort of ripped them. You have a limited amount with these cards and then they're very rare in any other pack. So, uh, I don't know. As you can see though, one thing I am um, investing in just a little bit of a talk here, because I do think we are going to get an overall change. It looks like. I don't think it would be a bad idea to you know to invest in some of these 90s. You could get them super super cheap. Unfortunately, there was no special offer today, but my understanding is yesterday with that cover athlete pack, these 90s were extremely extremely easy to snipe. Everything was easy to snipe, I guess. Fortunately, family, kids, things like that. We were checking out reindeer. I was not on the game, uh, but I don't think it would be a bad idea to invest in 90s again for that overall change. Now you might not make millions like potentially with the first couple overall changes but i don't think it's i think it's a safe investment let me put it that way investing in training as far as like 91s or 89s things like that you know maybe if there's presence i think you could really you know you, you could be okay but there's also a risk that if there's no overall change before presence are announced or something like that so say there's no talk of presence on thursday but the overall change happens and you've invested heavily in 91s you might lose a little bit because their value is going to go down once that overall change goes up. So I think 90s are a pretty safe investment um, just because they will go into the next champion sets once those go to 93s. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video again. It's just a short one. Just want to go over the Mix It Up Monday promo. We got a huge pull. Very excited about that. Let me know down below if you got anything good. And if you did, congrats. If not, hopefully your luck turns around. Maybe this Thursday with Zero Chill Part 1. Um, we'll be making another video then. Zero chill is my favorite part of the year, so I'll be making much more content than I have been. Um, so hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I appreciate all support. We'll catch you next time. Peace.